Mart Line with our local Emmy Award winning host, Kent Brockman. Hello, I'm Kent Brockman, and welcome to another edition of Smart Line. Are cartoons too violent for children? Most people would say, no, of course not. What kind of stupid question is that? But one woman says, yes. And she's here with us tonight, Mrs. Marge Simpson. There she is! Also with us for this animated discussion <laughs> are Roger Myers, chairman of the board of Itchy and Scratchy International. Thank you. Krusty the Clown, whose delightful program brings us the antics of Itchy and Scratchy every afternoon at four. I can't. <laughs> and joining us live via satellite from Vienna, the home of Sigmund Freud, the world's most famous psychiatrist, to give us an insight into the human mind, Dr. Marvin Monroe. Hiya. Now, first, let's see what all the excitement is about. Here's an example of the work currently being turned out at INS Studios. <laughs> Hilarious. Now, what in the world is wrong with that, Mrs. Simpson? There's nothing uh -huh. wrong with it. Excuse me. Excuse me. He was addressing me. I know. There's nothing wrong with Excuse it. Excuse me. There is. I think that it's a bad influence on oh, children. Give me a break. I think that is a bunch of baloney. <laughs> and here's why. In preparing for this debate, I did a little research, and I discovered a startling thing. There was violence in the past long before cartoons were invented. I see. Fascinating. Yeah, and there was something called the Crusades, for instance. Tremendous violence. Many people killed. The darn thing went on for 30 years. And this was before cartoons were invented. No, oh, that's right, Kent. So much for your viewpoint. Hmm. Dr. Marvin Monroe in Vienna, would you care to comment on all this? Uh, well, Kent, to me, the hijinks of a few comic characters absolutely pale in comparison with the crippling emotional problems a psychiatrist runs into every day. I'm, I'm referring here to, to women who love too much, fear of winning, sexaholism, stuff like that. So you have no professional objection to itchy and scratchy? No, not at all. In fact, uh, one of my guilty little pleasures is to snuggle up with a big bucket of buttered popcorn, dim the lights, turn on itchy and scratchy, and laugh myself silly. <laughs> and what the hell is wrong with that? Not a thing. Uh, now, for another opinion. <laughs> Hi, kid! <laughs> Krusty, please. Uh, we're giving you an opportunity to participate in a serious discussion here. Oh, I'm sorry, Kent. It's just when the camera gets on me, I go... Hey, hey! <laughs> Krusty! Oh, uh, well, it looks like we're not going to settle this tonight. Mrs. Simpson, in the nine seconds we have left, can you summarize your position for us? Yes. I'd like to ask all the parents in Springfield who are concerned about this to write in and let the cartoon makers know how you feel. Thank you. 